guys, how are you doing? We are sitting in an electric car again. Yes, I'm telling the story very often, but this, um, believe me, is very, very special. If I can get my glove to close. We are about to set off because it just sounds marvelous and goes marvelous. And I will show you in just a second how quick it is on the race box. Listen to this. goodness this is quick and super thrilling to drive I mean first of all it looks like a regular BMW it handles like a regular BMW um, everything feels like a real car high quality leather interior carbon fiber yeah more or less what we have in our M340i despite that we only have the iDrive 7 where this is already iDrive 8 nice sport bucket seats you have seen the rear axle how wide it is i love the looks of this yeah extra wheel arch plus of course also the um the wider tires and um then there is this sound it might sound odd on the camera but it, it doesn't sound odd in real life. It's just very, very pleasant. All electric cars that I've driven so far, they, they always tend to lack the sound, which is the connection between speed and yeah, the, the whole driving experience. And, and therefore, I really, really like it. And um, yeah, without further talking, let's do a launch control on the country road, see how fast this goes. We have 90% state of charge, so not, not even 100%. Um, see how good the numbers are. seven seconds and then there's this handling yeah you can feel the weight somehow but oh my goodness this is huge fun yeah let's head out onto the autobahn see how fast it goes 100 to 200 because that 3.7 is already a lot faster than what the factory is claiming let's now check out how fast the i4 m50 goes 100 to 200 remember tesla model 3 performance did 11.3 Let's check out how fast this one is. Wow, I have to correct the time, but the box shows 8.3. It's probably about 8.4, 8.5 corrected time. Pwah. That is a big difference. That is almost three seconds faster than what we did with the Tesla Model 3 performance. Model year 2022 of that car, or 21 of that car as well, so the most recent one. So on, on paper, they both have something around 540 horsepower. Uh, but yeah, high speed accelerations are significantly better with the i4 M50 than with the Tesla Model 3 performance. I think we've already seen that in the car while drag races, that at higher speeds, the speed trap, the, the i4 just goes away. The, the numbers are pretty amazing. Um, of course, German manufacturers tend to, let's say, beat the factory claimed numbers. And um, as we see, let's say the, the US cars at least um, tend to be a bit slower. It's always the case that the US cars like the Fords and the Teslas, for example, are being measured with one foot rollout function on. And of course, we are measuring the real um, zero to 100 time. I mean, first of all, um, we didn't do 3.9, but we did something like 3.7, 3.8, uh, 0 to 100, which is at least a tenth quicker than what the factory is claiming. Um, secondly, we did 
amazing runs, 100 to 200. 8.6 seconds is, um, yeah, in a league, something like of an Audi RS6. A bit slower, maybe, just a tiny bit slower. Um, it's in the league of an M2 CS. Um, it is faster than our M4 competition that we had. Um, so even 100 to 200, this car is really fast. Um, it's about half a second slower than the recent um, M3, M4, but you have to remember, this car is the Grand Coupe um, 4 Series, so it's bigger and heavier. And, and of course the M4 that we tested, or even the M3, um, are, yeah, are lighter body styles. You have to remember that. So this is a bigger body style and a heavier body style. So overall, from 0 to 100 and 100 to 200, this car shows, the i4 M50 already shows, that it is more or less on pair in straight line performance speed with the recent M cars. And um, well, it will be very, very amazing to see BMW to launch a real i4 M um, with, I don't know, what, what will they do? 700 horsepower, something like that. Uh, that would be really really amazing because it will beat the the petrol cars at least in straight line performance And of course, it's not all about straight line performance also about handling this car of course is more a GT car for the long distances um, But nevertheless it handles good. It is fun to drive. It's it's yeah It's an M performance car just like our M340 I is that we have and um, it is fun But good to drive on long distances as well also the emotional part through the sound is really good um, Sold really good in this car because I really like how um, yeah, launch control has a different sound, acceleration, um, braking, there are different sounds that are coming up and I really like how the, the overall experience is, uh, let's say, supported by that. That was even in comfort in Sport Plus or Sport Boost, how it's called here. Um, it's even more interesting. So overall, a very, very good package. I've said it already in one of our stories on Instagram. Um, we have chosen now, of course, our the Kia EV6 GT as our next car. Uh, unfortunately, not this one. The reason was, of course, mainly that due, uh, at the time that we ordered the car, the, the price difference was huge between i4 M50 and Kia EV6 GT. This definitely is the better overall car. It's the more quality car. Um, infotainment screen is nice. So, um, yeah, well done. Good job uh, overall. And yeah, really looking forward to many other interesting electric cars which are coming up in the, in the future. And looking forward to drive them.